Hey, good morning, beautiful people. It is actually morning here in Dubai, so I am on my way to work. <laughs> All right, so my school is quite close to this place. So um, anyway, let's talk about how you can travel to Dubai uh, through Benin Republic, okay? I have done a video where I talked about how you can travel to Dubai through Ghana. All right, so it is your choice. Uh, it is your choice, whichever route you want to take. You might want to take uh, the Ghana route and you might want to take uh, the Bene Republic route, all right? It is totally your choice. So, but uh, the Bene Republic route is the much more cheaper one. Uh, it's a, a, And it's quite close to Nigeria. So, Bene Republic is closer to Nigeria than Ghana, okay? So, and it's, it's cheaper than uh, going through Ghana. So it's it's your choice, however. So today I'm going to be discussing how you can travel to uh, to Dubai through uh, through Benin Republic. So Benin Republic is, like I said, not far to Nigeria. Or it takes like one hour thirty minutes to get to uh, Benin uh, to get to Benin Republic from Nigeria. So um, so uh, I went there in 2019 and. I was there in 2019 and uh, it was quite easy, nothing serious. So how can you go to Bena Republic? Okay, so these are the ways you can go to Bena Republic. Some of you might know, some of you might not know, might be your first time. So the two places that I know you can take a bus going to Bena Republic, okay, is um, you can go through mile two, okay, mile two. I went through mile two, <laughs> mile two <laughs> when, I, when I went and you can also go through Yanoba. Okay, so those are the two places I basically know. So mile two, uh, you have to uh, get to Oshodi. I got to Oshodi. I went from Ikotu. I got to Oshodi, and from Oshodi, I got a bus going to my mile two. So when I got to mile two, I took a Siana bus for one thousand five hundred. Okay, Siana bus because it gets filled up quickly. Uh, not too much people in the in the Siana van. It's a van, not a bus. All right. So if you want to take a bus, also. You can take a bus, it's way cheaper. Uh, it's, it's between 700 and 900. Okay, so it's your choice, whatever you want to do. If you want to go faster, you can take a uh, Sienna, uh, Sienna van, which costs 1,500. And you can also take, uh, you can choose to take a bus as well, uh, which just costs between 700 and 900. Okay, so I'm very close to my school right now, so I'm just going to quickly sum up this uh, video. So, um, so, like I was saying, so if you want to travel to Benin Republic, to uh, if you want to connect to uh, Dubai, let me drop my let me drop my bag because my hair, my hand hurts. So if you want to con if you want to travel to Benin Republic, <laughs> you want to travel to Dubai, connecting through Benin Republic, just get yourself to uh, the Seme border via Maltu or uh, what is it now, Yanoba. Okay, so now. When you get there, there are things you need to do. You need to get, you need to do your COVID-19 test, right? So uh, what I can do for you just to help, it's your choice. You can either go through Ghana or here, okay? So now, I'm going to put in a description box below, okay? Someone that can help you when you get there for your COVID-19 test. Now, I am not in any way, shape or form advertising for anyone. This is just my way of assisting people to come to, do, to Dubai, okay? Some of the people that actually watched my video, all right, the Ghana one are actually right here in Dubai now and they are grateful for it. They send me mails, no, not mails, they send me messages through Instagram, okay? And they let me know they are right here in Dubai now, which is a good thing, right? This is why we do what we do. So, uh... So what I'm going to do is, if you get yourself to the Semi border, if you get a bus from Maltu, get to Semi border. That is where they drop everybody. Okay, from the Semi border you can change Naira to Sefa. Okay, just right there at the border. Then from there you can go to wherever you want to go to. Okay, so um, okay, let me change my hand now because I my hand my hand is getting I'm getting hot. So um, you can change your money. At the same border from Naira to Sefa, very easy, not a problem. You see them there, you see them lined up there. Okay, so when you get there, one thing I want to say is when you get to Seme, okay, remember not to go there before you go to Benari, make sure you wake up early, don't go late. If you go late, six o'clock they close the border, nobody is ever allowed to go inside. Do you understand? So it happened to me, it actually happened to me. I was I went there late. And when I got there, I couldn't go inside. Six hours, I passed 6 p.m. And I, I, the only choice I had was to, uh, was to sleep at, the, at an hotel at the border there. 
I had to sleep overnight in an hotel before. Then the next morning we were allowed to go inside. So 6 p.m. is a no-no. From 6 p.m. they close the border. So you have to be there very, very early. Be there very, very early. So when you get to Benin Republic, there is a contact that, that can help you with your COVID-19 test. If you like, you can patronize him. Uh, he also sells tickets. Uh, if you like, you can buy your ticket from him. It's your choice. You can arrange your travel from Nigeria to... You don't need anybody for you to travel from Nigeria to Nigeria to Benin Republic. You can do that by yourself. It's very easy. Get to Maltu or Yanoba. Take a Semeboda Seme bus. You see them calling Semeboda, Semeboda. 1,005 or 700 to, uh, between 700 and 900. Whichever one you choose, you enter. When you get there, this contact will help you with your COVID-19 process, however you want it to be. You can discuss and negotiate everything with the agent. Uh, if you want the person to also organize a ticket from uh, uh, Benin Republic to Dubai, it's your choice. But if you only want a COVID-19 test, you know, process and all these things done, he will be there to help you all through your journey. He will help you in every single way you want, okay? That is going to be very beneficial for you. So it's your choice, however you want to do it. So I'm going to drop the link below, the contact that can help you all through your process in Benin Republic and how to cross over. To Dubai. Okay, there's nothing illegal about it. Everything is legal. Bene borders are open to Nigerians, and um, uh, I don't need to say too much. We all know that Nigeria and Dubai are having their crisis. Uh, Nigerians can travel to Dubai, but we cannot come directly from Nigeria. So we can only go through through other routes. Through other routes. So that is it from me. Check the description box below to get the contact of the person that can help you in Bene. Bene Republicans. I don't know what they call themselves, but. The citizens of the republic they are very nice people you don't need to be afraid and there are lots of nigerians there so you don't need to be scared of anything should in case it's your first time going there it is an amazing place i've been there in 2019 i enjoyed myself i made friends citizens they are always willing to help people there are lots of nigerians there doing business so you don't need to worry about oh is it safe or or uh, uh, uh or how is it gonna be is it you know you're gonna be safe. Nigerians are there. Banner Republic is just like Nigeria. I don't see anything different in that country and Nigeria at all. The only difference is that they speak French as their main language, okay? So please check the description box below for the contact that can help you with your COVID-19 test or maybe your ticket if you like. Everything regarding your COVID-19. If you have more questions for me, message me on Instagram. I'm gonna answer all your questions. Thank you so much for watching. My school is just right over there. <laughs> and it's very close over there, so. I need to go now. Thank you so much. Ask me questions. I love you all so much. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.